No, not at all. You know, my only focus right now is, you know, helping our team try to win a national championship, and you know, I'm not going to get let anything distract me or get in my way. Are, are you still interested in the Maryland job? Or are they, you still in contact with them? Uh, you know, kind of like I've said all along regarding head coaching jobs. You know, it's got to be the right time, the right situation. And uh, right now, my only focus is on helping us win a national championship, and I'm not going to let anything distract or get in my way of helping us do that. But you haven't closed the door entirely on the possibility. Well, like, like, my only focus is helping us win a national championship. I will have nothing else in my mind other than that. Clarification: Have you spoken with Maryland? Uh, I'm not going to get any specifics about any sort of job, but uh, like I said, right situation, timing, and uh, nothing will get in my way of my focus on helping us win. He's back for now. He came back for Christmas, um, but he has to go back January 6th, so he won't be able to make the game. But uh, he'll be back for good in May. See him. Is it tough to think? Here we go again. He's gonna leave again. Um, I'm kind of used to it now, yeah. so um, it, it's really no big deal. It's really just kind of tough on my mom, cause like I said, she's there by herself. But um, he's doing well over there. He's not. Um, he really doesn't talk about it that much. But overall, it's been good over there, and it's kind of calmed down. So I'm happy about that. Did you guys Skype during the football season and stuff? Oh, yeah, we Skype uh, probably every day or every two to three days, uh, right. depending on how you know the season is going and uh, how my days are. But uh, we talk a lot. Uh, he asks about football. And sometimes we get a little off football and just talk about life and stuff. So. Does he ever have a chance to get to watch the game? Uh, yes. Um, my mom set something up where he can um, actually watch uh, television over here on his computer. Oh. So um, he catches all the games. Uh, he'll be up 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning sometimes just watching it. Even though he has work, uh, he just loves to see us play and stuff. So, so what time is the championship game going to be? When, where um, he's going to be at? It's five thirty, and from that it'll be about eleven hours ahead. So um, it'll be about four or five o'clock in the morning, probably over there. So, yeah, he'll be up watching it though. <laughs> Um, well, and it goes it goes back a little bit far that, you know, I was walking down the hall the other day and I just happened to look up and I saw the Outback Bowl celebration picture. And I saw a big little face in the middle of it. And you know, I'm sitting here trying to like, wow, no one really knew. No one knew what, you know, what would happen, to, what would Nick be? And then all of a sudden, this transformation for Nick started in the spring. Uh, when we walked out there in the spring and he started telling everyone where to line up and he knew where to line up immediately and I said that was a big sign and then to go into fall practice he was practicing at a different speed the game had slowed down to him and um, assignment wise he got better and better and then all of a sudden I think after all, uh, once he got the interception against Mississippi State the light was on it was after that I got out of coaching. I was just trying to make sure he showed up at the game. <laughs> but I'm proud of his involve his his evolve from from last year to now. <coughs> Biggest thing is, uh, like I keep telling him, it's not what we did in uh, 2010; it's what we do in 2011. That that's not a, that's not an issue. He he is all about this game. And uh, the, that, that would take care of itself when time is appropriate. But we're more concerned about this situation. And, uh, but that hasn't been an issue, and uh, it, it, it's not going to be an issue. But he, he's, been, he's been great about the whole deal, and he's more concerned about Auburn being successful. Everybody involved. The closer it gets, the more real it, you know it is. And I really believe once we step off that plane in Arizona, it'll uh, it'll wake everybody up. I don't know nothing about no Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> you got me on that one. I'm simple, caveman. <laughs>